Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. NBA Finals are upon us, and we're not the biggest fans of basketball, so we thought it'd be a good idea to look back at our favorite basketball video games. We are, however, really big fans of arcade-style basketball games. Oh yeah, for sure. So we're going to discuss today a fistful of our favorites we feel hold up very, very well today, and will actually give you something to do during the NBA Finals. At the back end of this episode, we are also going to have our own NBA Finals. We're going to do a best of three game series on NBA Jam on Fire Edition. We're going to invite a couple guys over from the band, and we are going to drop the proverbial elbow on them and bring the championship home where it belongs, right here to Gaming Off the Grid. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking a band favorite, Good Old Hams. Wowzers. It's fueled many a band practices, so we figured what a fitting time to bring it onto the channel when we have the band over. Enjoy some hams and enjoy some NBA Jam. Ham? Jam? Ooh. So sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and stay tuned for this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. And if you like, you can call it Hooping Off The Grid. buddy old pal i know you're excited about this it's the nba finals oh my favorite time of year to not watch basketball oh hey so let's saddle up and play some games together so we went through and played some games i was really excited to shoot this episode with you because this is a gaming topic that we've never really got on to yeah. uh what's the first basketball game you ever remember playing oh uh, i think i remember my neighbor up the street had nba street or nba street 2 i can't remember which one it was but he had it on the gamecube and oh that game was so much fun I love the art style, the music, just everything about it. I have good memories of that game too. My brother had it on GameCube. I don't remember which version he had, but he wasn't really into sports games either. But we played that game a lot, and he actually played that game a lot by himself. Like He was really <laughs> into it. EA Big back then had some really cool things going on. There was a uh, snowboarding game that they had that was really, really cool. And I think there was a racing game they had that was really good. But anyway, they were doing some really cool things. I would like it if they would kind of come back. Yeah, that'd be sweet. So what was the first basketball game that you remember playing? I remember playing a couple games on the NES, I, I feel like, but none of them really moved the needle for me. The first basketball game I played that was just like a mind-blowing experience was NBA Jam. And I uh, brought along the Sega Genesis version today just because I had some neighbors on my street that had a Genesis, and I never did. Once I played this game, I wanted to go over to their place nonstop to play this game. I had my favorite players in it. The action was crazy. It was over the top. 360 dunks. You could get on fire. Wide open. He's on fire. I mean, you, you've played NBA Jam, so you know what I'm talking about. But at the time, when I was a kid, it was just mind-blowing. And this game holds a special place in my heart. I did eventually own the tournament edition of this on Super Nintendo. But I brought this one along today because this is my first memory of playing NBA Jam. It's funny that you mentioned NBA Jam because that's my most recent gaming memory of basketball games. Um, when we go on the road, we play NBA Jam, the arcade version. And, oh, it's so much fun. All four of us just screaming and hollering and... <laughs> people staring it's fun well it, it's a lot of fun and it's awesome that I've been able to find that machine because I don't remember playing it when I was younger so your memories of playing it on arcade are about as long as mine um, my arcade memories for basketball um, reside in this little beauty right here NBA Showtime it was a midway game I have the Dreamcast port here that I think was the best port of this game as, as close as you're gonna get to the arcade version on a home console. This game is a lot like NBA Jam. We played it. Yeah. Um, what'd you think? It's very similar to NBA Jam. Yeah, the graphics um, are a step up, at least at the time they were. Looking back, NBA Jam might hold up a little bit better. But I remember when I played this game, I was thinking to myself, if graphics ever, how could they ever be any better than this? So what was the last uh, basketball game you remember purchasing? Um, the NBA Jam game on PS3. It was a modernization of this game. Uh, it was a two-player game, bringing it back to form. NBA Jam lost its way a little bit. I don't know if anybody remembers the simulation type version they released on N64. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but they brought it back to center with this, and they did a great job. There's a subsequent release to this called NBA Jam on Fire Edition. It's one we're going to do the finals yes. on. Um, that is a little bit better, I feel like, just because of the unlockables. The, the core mechanics of the game are, are about the same in each one. I would equate it to NBA Jam. 
um, an NBA GM tournament edition. And that's about the difference of the two. But nonetheless, it's the only physical release. The other one was digital only, so I've always hung on to this and I cling on to it because it's uh, probably the last good arcade basketball game release in my opinion. Before we go, um, what was that basketball game we played where Michael Jordan was like the front foreground? Yeah, it was uh, NBA 2K11, that's what it was called. It's a simulation game, which has never really been my thing. Yeah, uh, but not, not a big fan. It has these milestone moments where you get to play as Michael Jordan and go through some of his most historic moments um, on the basketball court, which just an incredible athlete. The aesthetic for those games is really cool. The attire changes, the shoes change for all players on the court. So you actually feel like you're immersed in that moment. And then we had the finals on oh, here yeah, as it well. was sweet. We were playing with Michael Jordan, and then we were watching Michael Jordan on the bottom TV. Yeah, we had the oh. 98 finals. My dad recorded back <laughs> in 98 on VHS, and so I've got that series there towards the end of his career. It was fun to play as him. This is the only sim game I have in my collection because of those Michael Jordan moments. So it's pretty fun. All right, well, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. We're going to launch into the NBA Finals. It's you and me versus Ryan and Brian on NBA Jam On Fire Edition. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. NBA Jam, NBA Finals 2018. Stay tuned. What's going to happen here tonight in this uh, game one? What's your plan there, fellas? Well, I don't do much of the talking, so I'll hand this one over to Brian. Yeah, Ray Allen here. I'm uh, just hoping my threes are on point tonight. Uh, no injuries. Uh, we're going to stay fresh, stay healthy, and uh, we're going to have a little fun doing it. Nice. Injuries in NBA Gym. That's a curious yeah. thought, huh? Okay. All right. So, uh, you guys think, uh, what would you bet if you had a million dollars? Would you bet the whole thing that you guys are going to take the series or not, huh? Uh, well, I don't do much of the talking, so I'll hand this one over to Brian. Yeah, yeah, we like to bet, so uh, so we're going to take it. We're going to take it. Come on, James. Oh, baby. Fucking shit, tits. <laughs> Woo! <Dang. coughs> oh, under the legs. Baby. Oh, oh dude, you got ripped. Dang it. Oh. Yeah, see? See? <laughs> I, I know how to use my eyes. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, fucking farts. Come on, James! Oh, oh dude! <laughs> the hell? The one in it. Okay. Okay. I see. Oh, okay. There you go. That was way too deep. Oh, okay. What? We'll take it. There we go. Off the board. We're up by double dig. Double GG's. Oh yeah, take it to the crib. Woo! Open court! Oh no, no! Oh, at Damn the it. zip! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. shit! Oh, zip. Okay, we just gotta keep this. Uh, I'll do. Keep this. We got a nice okay. cushion. All alone, you got two guys on it. Yeah, all, all alone. alone. On the inside. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus Christ. Dang it. Game one, as in, is as good as dead. dead. Four seconds. Oh, okay. We don't know if it went in or not. Ah, <laughs> oh, I went to high risk. Yeah. I almost had it. I should have. High risk, take, high reward. I forget to take my finger off of the turbo. Oh, no. 
Oh my gosh, he's freaking whooping my team. <laughs> Whoa! Milk in! Ah! Dude, that was a beautiful arc. Dang it! There it is. Plus, I shoved him on his pecker. Yeah, you wish. Nice. Oh, man, that was a good one. Uh oh, no. One point game. <laughs> okay. I grabbed him. Oh, baby! Oh, here we yeah. go. No! Oh. oh my god, I thought that was going in for a second. Six point game. If they lose this game, they lose the series. They're down by six points. I. I just need to start nailing those three pointers, and man, the refs, the refs are not on our side tonight. No, they're so. not. <laughs> That's all right, though. I mean, when, when would they be? Yeah. yeah. Well, but you know, we're good. We're good at a basketball, and we're gonna show America. You know what they say. We're gonna show America what they deserve. Get that oh, goaltending. Get that shit out of here. There you Shit. go. Nuggets. Three threes. Nice. Yeah. There we go. That's there our go. ten point. Yeah, they are. Cushion, this is where we like to be. I know you guys were a couch. <laughs> Fuck. There you go. Dude, is that five threes in a row? Who's counting? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, no, it wow, won't. Wow, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Why did I try something other than a three? Yeah, you guys can get that. It's getting cold. Nice. Mm. Alan is freaking lights. <laughs> oh my Jesus <laughs> He cannot be reckoned with. <laughs> Jesus, LeBron. <laughs> Dude. Every fucking time. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Did you just see what I did? <laughs> nice, Alan. I can dunk too. That's an Alan. Jesus. One more for the road. Who's who's one? <laughs> this this right here means everything to me. Now, this is what I came for. This is what I saw, and this is why I conquered. Wow. Yeah, I come to ask you a question here, Ray, uh, before we wrap things up. Have you ever had a fart and a burp smell the same way? Absolutely. Well, that means you need to brush your teeth there, son. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the NBA Finals champion uh, here uh, with the gold around their waists. And uh, thanks for uh, thanks for playing, and uh, better luck next year, huh? <laughs> All right. There you have it. The 2018 NBA Finals edition of Gaming Off the Grid. Robert, we got... Uh, our asses handed to us. Yeah, I'm gonna blame the refs on that one because I gave it my all. It wasn't pretty. Um, yeah, we got we got smoked. Uh, great job, guys. You guys came in and cleaned our clocks. We always end with a beer review. Um, we have hams today. It's gonna be kind of funny to do an actual beer review on this beer. So <laughs> you know, you talk about it's it's just a classic beer. I feel like I'm a Midwestern male in the 70s mowing his lawn. Yes, right absolutely. <laughs> I think this is what they would experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as far as a 30-pack, would you recommend it? I mean, it's a, obviously a budget beer. Yeah, it's a budget beer. It, definitely. It, I would definitely recommend it over the other light beers out there. Yeah, I mean, because it's full-bodied. Uh, a lot of people would probably go with, like, a Bush Light or something like that. I, I still, myself, like the High life hams, PBR type of stuff. Um, there's at least some flavor there. Yeah. Um, as far as notes goes, 
you're not gonna get any uh, barrel um, chocolate, yeah. tree bark, yeah. whatever. Nothing fancy. No, but pretty straightforward down the pipe. I think if you're playing some party games, uh, this is a great type of beer to pick up. 2018 NBA Finals Edition of Gaming Off The Grid. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, drop some comments below, hit the subscribe button. And uh, share. Yeah, hey, that would be awesome. Absolutely. We're just, we're just growing this thing. So. Yep, we're just getting off the ground. Um, and maybe we'll see something like this in the future. I don't know. Maybe with some sporting events coming up. Um, you know, I think the World Series is coming up. There's some pretty fun arcade baseball games we might be able to jump into. Um, you know, when uh, football time rolls around. I don't know. If that's something you guys are into, let us know. Um, and we might come back at you. Maybe with the same lineup we have sitting in front of you today. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Cheers, everybody. And again, thanks for joining. Catch us next time on Gaming Off the Grid. Take care. Hams from the land of the sky blue waters. So, basketball. Yeah, it's basketball time. It's the NBA Finals. Who, who do you think's going to win it this year? Uh, I'm probably old pal. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Um, I don't know. There's some type of like sports championship. <laughs> Super. I will answer your question with another question. Have you ever seen yourself a flat top? I have indeed. Uh, do you think that, that, that a flat top will have any importance in this game? Well, it depends on how uh, you define long range like a stretch limousine. Because I'm going to be controlling Chris Mullen, who has the best flat top I've ever seen, and he's going to be sh popping threes nationwide, long range, like a stretch limousine. That sure does make sense. Robert, why the hell did you bring your basketball? Why'd you bring your basketball net? <laughs>